in a software development life cycle, we always have a certain sequence. In terms of games, we have a simple sequence. First, we create our components to which we basically send and use in our game. Now that's basically making a whole game. Now, the next thing is actually building the game. So once the game is complete, then we build it and we deploy it to our uh, engine or computer or console. So today we're going to talk about the build. Now, in terms of building an object, we use the same components that we've been making throughout the months and we have taken everything the same. And as you can see, I've added a few things. The first namely being this orange yellowish circle, which if we go inside our character, it's an environment probe, which basically reflects off real lighting, just a little quality of life. We made sure that there's no big lighting grab, so it doesn't bake every second. And without it, as you can see, that the light does not bounce, does not look realistic. So just adding that was a little quality of life. The next thing that we also included in our object, other than the city, was enemies. We have created a turret enemy. <clears throat> in terms of what it has, it has a few things like this particle effects, just to simulate that it's broken. Uh, the turret itself has a component called turret class, which is basically the same AI class, as you can see. It looks at the enemy, has a detection, and has an object that needs to be rotated. We removed its moving uh, path class, so it doesn't need to move around, just rotates around and gets the character. And we placed a few around the map to make sure it is a quote-unquote challenging uh, level. So what we did was we have like about six all placed around the map. So that's it for the character and the enemies. And I believe we are ready to make this into a game. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go into our object and we're going to make it into a released configuration instead of debug and try to build that. And building it won't take too long since it's already been built for a while and we just press uh, with my new additions we press uh, play and we start playing the first thing is we just do whatever it says or whatever you like and so far i'm just testing out the objects the abilities movement everything looks somewhat clean there is music too i muted it for uh, our well i don't know why but I muted it. So now we check, everything's working fine, playing around. Once we kill the character, we can see that we have this dead. All right, so everything's working perfectly fine and we are ready to send the build. Now in order to build, we have to go to file and we click create build. After clicking it, we get a little window to which we do, I'll have a few parameters. The first thing we're going to check is we're going to see which world should be loaded. In my case, I want that main menu, which is under CPP check. So I'm going to switch that to CPP check. The next thing we're going to also do is we're going to check what type of icon we have. I don't have any, so I'm not going to do it. It's a default and we're going to make it into a development style for now. After that, we're going to have a few more parameters like the one over here where it deletes unused assets right now. I just left it like that. We have a few more where it talks about whether full screen and resolutions. We include all of it so we can choose when we're starting. And then it also talks about any debugs and any other extra options. Now, that should be everything except that we did not put a build path. So now it's just going to give us an error. So the first thing we're going to do is go to a build folder or create a folder where we're going to put our build in. I'm just going to add it into our desktop. And I'm just going to give it whatever name that corresponds to me. Right now, game build sounds perfect. So we go inside here, we choose, and then we click and we wait. This takes a very long time, so you're better off just leaving it to go. One eternity later. After it's done, we have it right here inside our build folder. And we have the function, application, and we can just press play. And we can see we have this. I'll just choose the small resolution that we have or whatever and 
we are going to press run. And now it will start the game exactly like how we were playing with it. First, it's just going to shader compile. Once that's done, then after that, it's going to basically launch the game exactly as how we expected it to be or how we wanted it to be launched. So now we have it in that resolution, press play, and now we have that full game exactly how we left it. And then we can do everything exactly how it was, and we notice that everything is about the same. All right, so that's it for building. The next thing we're gonna do is either deploying. And in terms of deployment, we are either just going to send it up on Google Drive or show you how to do Steam. And so far, I'm not really good with the Steam stuff, but we'll figure it out. Anyways, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.